Good morning, John. So you say that I have successfully rebranded myself away from being a corn dog lover while you are stuck with being a pizza lover. And I had a little bit of a crisis about it, which is ludicrous, of course, but I did, so we're there. The reality is, like, I still have a corn dog. I would probably prefer a corn dog to pizza. And I still eat corn dogs a lot. They're just not, like, part of the lore anymore, which is interesting. There's a lot of things that aren't part of the lore anymore. Like, a couple of years ago, I couldn't shut up about Metamucil. And I still use Metamucil. And I still stand by Metamucil. It is a fantastic product that creates Good outcomes. There's so much lore that I've like forgotten about a lot of it. Was I like into My Little Pony for a while? Like, or maybe I like talked about it and people were like, actually Hank, back off from that a little bit. And so I just did without really asking why, why. Right before I recorded this video, I actually ordered a pizza and they asked me my name and I said, Hank Green. And they said, I love your TikToks. And so I asked if I could record them. Here it is. What do you know about me from my TikToks? That you are an intelligent, well-spoken person who brings up topics that are very interesting. Good. And it's a nice educational break in my TikTok reel. So that's one conception of who I am. They didn't know about all like the pelican stuff or the bean stuff or the don't eat stuff stuff. And I am on the pelican train a lot on TikTok, but like they're not the most successful TikToks. So that person didn't encounter them. My affinity for pelicans is like not a thing anywhere else. I don't talk about pelicans on Twitter that much, a little bit. Now this raises a question and people ask me this question sometimes. Is it weird that like you are a different person in different places? And no. It's not. I don't know if this is like because I'm just this way or because I've been doing it so long and I've gotten used to it or if it's just like people are just this way because like to some extent we are different people to our parents than we are to our friends, than we are to our wives, than we are to our kids. And like you, not John, but like you, everybody else, you know that like a facet of my job, not the only piece, but a, par a part of my job is that I'm a professional performer. Like I perform and I change my performance based on the medium and the content and the audience. Any performer does that. But on the internet, you're supposed to be your authentic self. And so being a performer, like that's an that's antithetical to that, right? Except no, it's not. Because you watched me become a professional performer. Like if you've seen all the Vlogbrothers videos, and let's be honest, you haven't. I have. You know I didn't start out a professional performer, right? Like go back and watch 2007 videos, not professional caliber. But also, none of these people aren't me. And the m more... I act away on the internet the more I actually am that way. This isn't even a surprise to me anymore. Like, you change. You change your whole life. You are different. You are different one year than you are another one. But I am into pelicans. That's something that Catherine did to me. She like loved them first and she like got me into pelicans. And I do honestly love Pizza John and I do honestly love them at Be Giants. And like, I, there are lots of things I love. Do I manufacture my quirk for the internet? I don't know. That's a terrifying question. I don't think so. I have always been a goofy, silly guy. You could ask my high school friend. But maybe I was manufacturing my quirks back then. Maybe we're all manufacturing our quirks. And if so, it doesn't matter because we're all manufacturing ourselves. There is no authentic self. I was not born away. I have created this person that I am. So to consolidate the crisis, I am a professional internet creator, performer, person, personality, and thus I am supposed to be authentically myself. And I cannot be that. And so here's what I can be. Authentically confused about, or even authentically disinterested in who my authentic self even is. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. Am I a bit much? No one ever says that to me, but I think I might be a bit much. Like, I think if I met me, I'd be like, that guy's a bit much.